It's very on brand. Hey, it, it is what the fans want. Yeah, right. We have to be consistent. The fans want us to be quiet for four hours. <laughs> Oh, oof. Oof. Just at the start of the stream. Just at the start. They want the opposite of a All podcast. Right. <clears throat> uh, let me put black up black some music a little bit. And hello, everyone. Welcome back to Skillion Rogues campaign. No, but Tales from Home, Paragon Loss. We got everybody here today. So that's great. So without further ado, we're going to skip the uh, loss in a moment. We're going to start with last session. Last session. Uh, this is the wrong summary. This is Lady Skull and Lord Knight. It's a different summary altogether. One second. All right. Good thing you realize now. Imagine if you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just start describing <laughs> that. Like, what the hell? There's only one one thing of note that happened last session. The yeah. did, did twist of right. death. Yeah. Last session, uh, you guys spent some time away ex uh, from exploring Paragon and built up your living quarters. After a garden, some homes, and a shrine later, you guys completed your renovations and celebrated with a cooking by Mia, which was promptly thrown out. Uh, on the last day of the renovation, you guys heard some commotion outside your camp. You guys followed the noise and came upon a group of people fending, them, fending themselves against some wolves. Instead of siding with the wolves or the humanoid, you guys decided to broker a peace which allowed the humans to escape. You guys reconvened with the humans who were resting at a nearby river at that point, and you guys chatted them up a little bit, but you soon discovered that this cocky bunch is a part of the bandits that at the wall. After taking one of them down, the rest flee in terror, leaving one of them behind. Timmy, a timid, socially awkward individual who the party have taken a pity to? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. So, right now, you guys return to your unnamed home base with a hostage in tow. The man is short, barely a foot taller than Vi. He's hunched back. And the whole way back, he has his hands curled up uh, around his hand crossbow in nervousness. You guys had a hood covering his head so that he doesn't know where uh, the way to your campsite. But upon arriving, he definitely becomes the center of attention in the camp with suspicious, angry, and curious looks all pointed at him. Um, I think that's his voice. Um, uh, beautiful ladies, uh, c c can you take the head sack off now? I really don't feel well. I think I prefer you with it on, actually. Uh, uh, okay, I, I understand. I, we, 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 can, we can keep this on if you... If we don't want him to puke in the sack. I think we should put, him, put him inside the jail cell first before pulling it off. <laughs> so Will you hold on for a little longer? Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll oh hold. no! Just a little bit longer. Okay. Count to ten. One, two. That's not in the background. <laughs> So, what do you guys want to do now? Um, at this point, I guess Henry and also Rubedo will walk up to you. Uh, pardon me, but uh, who's the new guy? And why does he have a sack over his head? He does not see... It's the bandits. It's the bandits that were chasing you guys. He stares, uh, Rubedo's eyes kind of widens and immediately grabs onto one of the various vials on his belt and kind of half shout at you. What the fuck are you doing? Just take him out and let's go. I don't it's want him to right, inform on our location. What is wrong with you people? I mean, I agree with Delilah and Ruby here. What use do we think this Timmy individual will be? And why should we just not take them out and shove them back in the river and tell them if we ever see them again, we will kill them? I gesture like uh, exactly. I don't know how to do this, but my hands are like uh, uh, not applauding. 
<laughs> but they're trying to Presenting. Say, yes, this is exactly what I want. Oh. They're they're doing like karate chops, like pointing at advice. Oh, I get you. I get you. I get what you mean. Yeah. I don't know what that motion is. <laughs> he doesn't really look like a threat. We checked him. He's not holding anything. Well, I have a crossbow over here. No, we, you gave it to us, remember? Oh, right. Here you go. But... <laughs> No, we, we asked you to leave your weapons at the end of the last session. Uh, yeah. Right, okay. I, I don't have it. I never had it. Uh, yeah, I am. Hey, killing hey, or killing? Cross, cross my sad. arms, stroll over to stand beside Delilah glaring daggers at Timmy, and then look very pointedly at Bree. Timmy has a Again, side still, right? I'm sorry? Okay, I understand you are soft-hearted, but again, what do you think this person can help you with? Because I think he is a danger to the people at the camp. Well, oh, Vi wasn't there, wasn't he? No, he was... Vi, Vi was not there, no. No, I but mean... I did get a rundown from Rip ah. that this guy is a creep, and I don't want him around the kids. Okay. Oh yeah, so that's he's the point of the jail. He's definitely not gonna be around kids. It's just gonna be in the jail. Also, like, uh, what was it? Um, he's like a prince of some place. I think he's cursed. I just want to see if he's actually cursed. Ah. Uh... Try to get magic on him. I mean, do you have this spell? Oh. Do you have to say, guess can so? I, I Can I make an arcana check or assist someone who has detect magic? Does Timmy have a spell on them or a curse? Uh, I One don't have two? it prepared at this point. We did take a long rest. We can... I, I mean, didn't it yet, I yeah. Oh, this is okay. This is it. Oh, one sec, guys. You guys continue this session. <laughs> Over. Oh, no, we Round can play. It's time. okay. He won't get pulled yeah. away to do work. No, it's fine. We, we don't need <laughs> reality or a plane of existence to walk through. Very sure. Okay, so. I, no, I mean, I, we can just keep talking about well, Timmy. Guys, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. I just want to point out that, you know, that we were interrogating him. Mm -hmm. I look at him. He could be just focusing on that one single thought so that he doesn't think of anything else. Trying to hide things from us. Are we what? speaking to this with him in the vicinity? I am speaking you... directly in front of him. He's yeah. speaking to him, I believe. Yep. Can, can, I mean, can we some, can... one of us like speak? to our minds and like link everyone or am i thinking about something else? yes that's a level five to know that well, if he tries uh, to you know lie to us then uh, most of us are okay with killing him i was gonna say let's Isn't say right when TV? a dm comes back let's have my shove him in the jail which i didn't know we had but that's convenient yeah and i built a shed so we're converting it into a jail cell yeah, so let's shove I... him in the jail and tell Henry to keep guard and we'll go talk somewhere else so he's not listening to this discussion. And if he tries to escape, whack him in the head. Yeah. I didn't say we had to be nice to him. I just wanted to keep him around just in case their little bandit friends come back or he could lead us to them, wherever they are. I didn't yeah. say we had to be nice to him. We're just keeping him for collateral. Well, I mean... He's pretty pitiful, though. People yeah, he's a pathetic a... little rat man. Yeah. Let us. Uh, he could uh, just be lying, though. He could just be pretending. I will mm. be. I I don't want to be impartial, I, but I do want to be practical. The country where he did mention he was a uh, heir to, or was he a king? I don't prince. recall which. He prince. was a prince. There does exist a state, a city state, somewhere closer to one of the continents. I forgot. It's 
uh, I'm losing my memory on this. It's Wisconsin. close to Paragon, actually. It's near near Paragon Falls, which is, uh, yeah, near Paragon Falls, basically. Yeah. Maybe like a one-week trip. I mentioned that tidbit. There does exist a small city-state like that to confirm that there is. I cannot confirm legitimacy of do I uh, that I can recall that their royalty is Timmy that Timmy is one of the royalty. I'll just I mean, disperse that well, information to the group. Even he has if a he wife is and kids alone. and everything. Well, even if that is true, it doesn't change the fact that he might be an asshole. Can I get some background on uh, what you think the state of the other bandits is? I, I would be surprised, especially if you killed the leader, if they had enough cohesion left to feel enough loyalty toward one apparently pathetic member that holding him hostage will help us a lot. Like, the only reason I see to keep him around is if we are immediately mounting an expedition to go after the rest of the bandits and we're going to force him to show us the way. We Are we not going to do that? Uh, we kind of already know where the bandits are, right? It's in the wall. Yeah, but we don't know how the camp is. We don't know if they have traps, defenses. Ah, oh, we could take Timmy along and make him go first. Yeah. I just, you guys, don't you feel sorry for him? He got bullied a lot. Yeah, he got bullied by the bandits, but that doesn't make him, you know, a pathetic person for me to help. It's he was okay, with them. kind person. I'm used to this. Uh, it's See? fine. I can walk into traps. No problem. Oh my God. I can take a bit of punishment. Oh, I think he likes that. Okay, oh. I, I, I don't want to be cruel. We will try to avoid traps. You wanted to kill him. him. Okay, killing is different from a trap that is potentially harmful but not lethal. That's, that's even a worse device. I don't want to torture this man. Yeah, either clean death or send him packing. That is... I may be thorough, but I do have a moral. And also, we didn't kill the leader of the bandits. We killed a lieutenant or something. It was the like leader one of, that of the group. higher, higher ranks? I think. Oh, great! So we have more uh, partially nude, sexy men to go fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, that, that status, but we do know. Yes, we have to face a hierarchy. Timmy, oh, guys. How, how strong are, is your bandit group? 30 strong? Yeah, I'd say about like 30 plus. 30, 40. It's closer to 30. Why, why do you call yourself bandits? Who do you read? Oh, well, we, we didn't call ourselves bandits. We call ourselves the Lords of Home. Uh, Lords of Paragon. Well, they call, well, you know. Uh, mm. You call yourselves, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's, let's go with that. Well, the partially nude man says that he is the bandit. That, that was in his head, right? I don't know what you're talking about, really. We don't really call ourselves bandits. I mean, that's like calling myself a murderer, right? Haha, <laughs> I'm a murderer. Are you a murderer, Timmy? I haven't I've... killed anyone yet. Don't really kill people. We just like steal inside, from them or something. Uh, in, inside, inside, <laughs> inside, inside. Go ahead. Can I? Can I do Why my, my own so role low? as well? No, 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 we're, no, no. I'm not... We're all murderers oh, here. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna. Accept oh my that. god! I know that ability. Magical guidance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna accept that. You're right. But you have to take the new the new dice, yeah? Yep. I mean, Yo, that's a oh. sick. Let's go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good job. I was I was about to say that was a sick ass spell, but uh, ability. But... So yeah, you try to discern this guy, but you're a little bit too distracted at like a wet spot near the person's nose. So you think like he's sniffling in there or something. Oh. 
And it's a little bit difficult to read someone when they have a hat around the head, you know, so yeah. A sack around the head, sorry. There you go. Yeah. Uh DM and group, can we say we push Timmy into the jail and leave Henry to guard and go talk on the other side of camp so Timmy can no longer hear us? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. All right, come on, you little um Timmy. My name's Timmy. Right. It kind of shoves the guy forward a little bit. Uh, you oh. can see like a couple of the people at camp, especially the kids, like, what the hell's going on over there? Kind of like peeking a little bit, but Rubedo quickly goes over. No, go around, play somewhere else. Hey, Henry, Mia, you guys are like uh, mages. Do you know if someone's cursed or not? Um, I think I can be. I'll be able to. Uh, do a little bit of research, identification, see how he is. Yeah, can you check? Sure, just give me a few, few minutes. Nice. So, you see he gets pushed into like this makeshift uh, cage that you've made with some leftover bits of wood and all that. And you move to the other side of the camp near the water so that the rushing water can also mask a little bit of your conversation sitting in that area. And also we can just easily drown him if he tries to do something. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> well, I just want to start out by saying Timmy does not make sense. He can't swim, but he willingly jumps into the water. He talks in a funny way, but he seems honest. But uh, the way he speaks in his mind sounded more um, as matter of factly, should I say? It's like he's, you know, he's hiding something or he's pretending to be what he's not. No, I'm saying, I think he's just cursed. Like, his mind is trapped, so he's, he only has his current appearance and that. Well, if he can't swim, why does he jump into the river? Because he does what people tell him to. Nobody told him to jump into the river. Maybe he's just a people pleaser. Yeah. He'll do anything for attention or, you know, things like that. No, oh, he jumped into the river to get away from us, remember? Well, we, were yeah. we killed all his comrades. Would you yeah. rather be killed or would you rather drown, I guess, at that point? Yeah, I you think that's... Your chances. That's fair. That makes sense for that. I. I don't want this person to stay at the camp, even in jail and tied up. I don't want them around the kids. If people are not willing to allow me and Delilah to execute him, I would vote that we take him outside again with his head in a sack, spin him around until he's dizzy, and tell him if we ever catch sight of him again, then we kill him. What? What? Again. He's nice. It's, it's more trouble than we have in our plate. He can we can pun. fill it in our plate. I don't Free, trust I don't him think we're going to win this one. I don't trust him without one of us guarding. Why are you guys so mean? Mm. I, it seems you've been very fortunate never to meet any creeps, Bree. But I saw way too many. I mean, uh, sometimes way some too people many... are just unfortunate, you know? Uh, occasionally. More often, they're entitled and they hide it very well. And most people give them a pass, and that's how. Kids get hurt and adults do nothing. And I feel rather strongly about that. Yeah, what about this? We let Henry do his things. We find out what, what, in what way the bandits hurt Rubedo and his group. 
And then we can find Ask TB what he, what he were doing in the wolf's territory. Well... And then we can decide what, what we're going to do with him. If you let me, um... If you let... If you give him eight hours, I can prepare a zone of truth. And make him tell the truth. We had a long rest, right? No, this is before your... This is before, before your long rest. Long rest. Oh, okay. Because uh, otherwise okay, you'll have him overnight without deciding whether or not to throw him. So. Yeah, this it is true. I am willing to wait for if he is cursed and if he is cursed to try to do something. I am willing to wait a little bit for a zone of truth. That seems fair. Rubedo kind of chimes in. You asked me just throw him out. He's... Well, they definitely dangerous. And Miak chimes what? in. Well, he looks kind of harmless, right? Yeah. A little bit creepy, yes, but for the most part. Harmless. We cannot allow ourselves major risks into uh, this whole operation of the yeah, camp we we're don't setting up. Yeah, we don't have enough people to always keep an eye on him. Uh, a little bit out of game. We don't want a situation like too many creeps at conventions where all the staffers would be warned, don't be alone in the room with this person, and then one person didn't get warned or something went wrong. Uh, and then you have uh, molestation and sexual assault cases. Uh. I mean, let's just figure out what's wrong with him until we go from there. I guess, let's give him a chance. Okay, so you have eight hours to get your spells together for Henry to give us a yes-no on Cursed and make a case as to why we don't throw him out and tell him never to come back. Yeah. That sounds fairer. If I will nod and settle down, swinging his legs and looking uh, probably the most trouble that you've ever seen him with a big old brown V between his eyebrows, not looking at anyone, just kind of staring into the distance. So for the rest of you, what do you guys do? Gonna go and talk to Rubedo. Um, um, uh, have we found out what what did the bandits do to them? To uh Rubedo no, show? you have not. You have not You haven't okay, really yeah. talked to. You just arrived in yeah, camp, gonna, basically. I'm gonna talk to Rubedo about it. All right. So, uh, Rubedo, chilling. Uh, Astrid, Delilah, Bree. I'll start my long rest. <laughs> Alright. Astrid, Delilah, okay. Aurora? Um, pray to I Shepa. Think... Yeah, what? You can pray to Shepa? <laughs> oh, oh, whoa! <laughs> Turn about. Okay. Let's go. Where's my shrine? Where's my shrine? Where's my shrine? It's I think the GM movie? forgot. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, cool, it's cool, cool. Oh. Okay, oh. I'm good. Then, uh, nighttime prayers. I'll go here. All right. Yeah. So... And I'll, I'll pray. So... All right. So the rest of you are just chilling, yeah? No, um, oh. yeah, I'm sorry. I just want to, uh, pull out two questions. Yes. So, first question. Does, uh, realizing some prior events to our arrival at Paragon. Does mm -hmm. the bandits, do they look like, or did they ever say if uh, if they came, oh, sorry, let me just rephrase this. Do the bandits that we attacked or were attacking uh, last session uh, have any resemblance to uh, the bandits that tried to scum us of me, uh, 
Vice and Jock's money when we were when we met up? Are they the same bandit? Same bandits? Vice and Jock's money. When okay, so uh, if you know, uh, in our backstory, right? Backstory, okay, how okay. You met, how you met? Yeah. A- a- any semblance because it's it was a month long journey. And yeah. Were... No. 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 Not at all. None, none, none of the faces that you could recall, at least. Right, right. Just, I had a tangent. I had, like, the thought come to my mind, but uh, thank you for clarifying. Sure. Uh, second question. Yes. What was the vial that the... Um, I forgot. I keep forgetting the tiefling's uh, name. Sorry. Uh, wait, is it, is Rubedo. It, yeah, Rubedo. Rubedo. Yeah, what was the vial that Rubedo was? I don't know. It's a, a round bottom... A uh, flask with some kind of green liquid inside it, bubbling a little bit. Like bottom half is green liquid, the top half is green smoke within that uh, round bottom flask. Okay, did we see the the use it when we first encountered when I wasn't here? Or you didn't see him use it. You just he, you just suddenly get engulfed by a poison gas, and then they all ran away. You never really see him fight yet. I see. Okay, sorry. All right, thank you for clarifying. That's all. Um, chilling out. All right. Three would be chilling out. All right. So the rest of you, chill uh, out. Yeah, yeah. All is right. Is there a place in the camp where I can look into the makeshift prison? Mm-hmm. Uh, while being in complete darkness. Uh oh yeah, definitely. Ooh. Your your place is like covered with like shrubberies and everything. So Perfect. definitely. So I will go there and do my meditations there. Mm-hmm. While keeping an eye on the guy. All right. Me, and I'll have my familiar be on my shoulder and peck me in the side of the head if he tries something. All right. Okay. Uh, go ahead with perception check, Jack. Um, you make your way towards Rubedo, which at this point um, is just pouring some red liquid into a smaller vial, corks it, and then notices you approach. Uh, he gives you kind of like that head nod and tosses you the vial. It to- tosses the vial that he's working in your direction. Uh, should I catch it? I should catch it, right? Your choice. Catch it. Catch it. You catch it. Uh, and you see the vial um, looks very familiar to you. Mm. My rent. Hope that works out. What do you mean, rent? There's no rent here. I mean, not exactly contributing anything over here, so the best I can do for now. Well, if you really want to pay rent, I point yeah, I radio to the three zombies caretakers that are still around, right? They're still around. Yes, they are still going about. Still creeps those me those out, by the way. But those are the real owners of this place. For the place, something just paid to them. <laughs> I'm sure they won't take kindly to any potions being thrown at them. Well, they can be quite nice, though. They don't disturb us. These ones are, you know, kind of okay. Uh, still gives me the creeps, but not as much as that guy over there. Yeah. At I least they agree. don't talk. Nah. They do, actually. What? Not. Well, they do speak some kind of language, but they can't use their mouth or something. They can talk inside their head. More and more mystery about this place. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of mysteries to uncover, but I'm more interested in one mystery. You and what said is that? About, you said bandits chase you, right? Yeah. What did they exactly do to you? Well, um, this was one time when I was uh, looting around the place, trying to find a place to stay. Um... Just looting some houses, looking for potion ingredients and all. This was way before that man had ever the stay. And then um, we meet this guy. I figured it's nice to see another human face over here. Uh, upon meeting this, they started, well, being friendly for a bit. Then they started to ask for, well, potions I was carrying. They're not a fan. 
tried to say no, but then they started brandishing weapons. So I broke one of my bottles and get the hell out. Happened like two more times, the second time more aggressive, but uh, they never could catch me. And then I managed to find a manor, trapped the place out, and uh, never came ever since. The alchemist fire probably scared them in the courtyard. Well, so they're more or less like, yeah, 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 exactly what you said, bandits. Exactly. Well, we, well, we actually found a, if you must know, we found a group of people. I assumed. I'm assuming that creeps one of them. Yep. It's one of them. We actually attacked them. Because uh, one of them uh, admitted that they're the bandits, so. <laughs> yeah, we killed Well, them. that's an idiot. That's an idiot. They just told you that they're bandits? Is, is that what they call themselves now? Yeah, he outright, uh, you know, not say it as like we're doing it right now. He said it in, in his mind that he's the bandit and people should fear him or something like that. Can you read minds? Yes, I can. It comes naturally, actually. He kind of points at you. Don't read mine. Why? Do you have something to hide? Everybody does. It's kind of rude, don't you think? Mm. Sure, I'll try not to. Just don't give me a reason to do it, okay? <laughs> uh, you better not. Still. No, you, won't, you won't even know if I, if I read your mind. I could have read it right now. Motherfucker. He chuckles a little bit, gives you a smile. All right, all right. I know all these kids. My friends like you, and you're not that bad. So what's your plans right now? Renovated the place. Honestly, really good place, but I uh, still want to get out of here. Yeah, we thought to find a way out of here, but right now I'm, just, I'm really worried about those bandits. One of them is here. They could be tracking him with some kind of magic. I don't know. They have a lot of ways to find the ways to, you know. I mean, they people. don't have like that level of magic, right? Tracking someone's like what? Third level, maybe? You never know. They might have some kind of magic items. Fuck or maybe right. even a very, you know, a very, uh, an animal with a very good sense of you know smell you're not wrong so we're killing him and disposing the body i don't know i'm gonna leave it up to the group <sighs> on one hand you can you know gather information from this guy on the other hand he poses a some kind of dang danger to us So for now, I think it's best you stay vigilant. All right. Thanks for the advice. And if you don't want that, just pass it to someone else. All right. Sure. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the... Uh, what is this anyway? Pushing us healing. Uh, all right. Well, thank you. All right. I'm going to sleep now. All right. Stay safe. Good night. He keeps an eye on you as you walk off and then goes into the the room that's assigned to him basically. Uh did you roll your perception or oh, just waiting for you to do your thing? Ah, okay. All right. Roll your minion. perception. You see so that upon arriving he still has a sack on his head. His hands are still tied. He kind of tries to find the bearing around the campsite a little bit, kind of stomping on the ground. Uh, not sure what he's doing right now. Stomping, stomping, stomping. And then he picks a location that seems like the softest. And then kind of push down his cloak so that it's uh, directed to the floor. And then he kind of curls down to the side. That's about it. 
All right. Uh, in that case, Aurora will consult with the stars, which is her new thing she can do. Uh, to get a cosmic omen. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Her Why does everybody has the ability to like Rory? see the future right now? Everybody like have information gathering abilities, I feel. We got fucking I mean, Yeah. God. What does that, that mean? Good thing or right? okay, show do me the ability thing. first. Do the thing. Do the thing? Show me do the ability. The oh, okay. Uh here. Thank you. Cosmic oh, omen. wheel or whoa. Ah, I see. So seven's an odd one, so... Whoa. Wait, no, that's not it. That's the D6. It's it just so... roll a die. Roll a die, yeah. Uh, it doesn't say yes. what die. I see, any die. Oh, I mean, uh, it, it, uh, I don't know what it's 50-50. Yeah. Unless I roll a D1. <laughs> <laughs> you always get a one. It's a reaction, right? Whenever you yeah. finish a long rest, you consult. Oh, I see. So you could be either the wheel or wall for that day, and then you can use it yes. a number of times. Uh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. I will surely remember to do this every time we long rest. <laughs> we'll, we, we can just retcon it. If you don't do it during your long rest, the first time you do it of the day, we just roll to see. It's not like you can change the outcome anyways. Then that's me. All right. You spend some time uh, sitting amongst the, not really stars, this weird, uh, swirly, nebulous cloud up above you, green in color. But there are specks of little dust that's kind of floating around, which kind of reminds you of skies, which is kind of nice. But the way that they're arranged right now, if it's in the real world, will tell you that, you know, danger is to come. And that's not a good feeling. So we'll see. I think it's par for the course over the past couple of months. <laughs> That's true. How long has it been? Weeks? Uh, just weeks, yeah. I think. Just about two weeks. Uh, f- three weeks at most, I feel. Yeah. yeah. So, you guys take your long rest, so go I, ahead. I, I, I want to do something. Oh, yes, go ahead, Bri. Um, I guess, like, as Bri takes her nighttime prayers before she goes to bed, she realizes, like, it just doesn't sit right with her this whole how people are treating t- Timmy kind of thing and he, and she knows no one else really gets it except for maybe Astrid so she's gonna go and find Astrid all right go ahead uh what would Astrid be doing uh reinforcing some of the sod houses so that you know just making sure they're sturdy okay then um <laughs> Uh, Bree's gonna go towards you, and uh, she's gonna try to get your attention by like just um, huffing and puffing next to you, like. Oh. 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 It's okay. I know the noise anywhere. What's on your mind? <laughs> um, I just you know, kind of sucks how they're treating Timmy. I feel like it's like. Aren't we just no better than the bandits? Well, we're all here in this place, and we're just trying to make the most of it, aren't we? Yeah. We don't know a damn thing about Timmy. I We're trying to save our own skins, aren't we? I guess. But, I mean, does that mean we lose all sympathy? Like, he gets bullied a lot. That's like... You know, yeah, like but between how... you and me, I think he likes it because he doesn't seem to do anything about it. He's well, a little weirdo. I mean, maybe it's just all that he knows, you know. If he has looked like that all his life, then it's you start to think, you know, any any interaction is good as long as you're not alone, kind of thing. Maybe. Well, from 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 the way I see it. He, yeah, he's he's a little weirdo, uh-huh. but he could be useful to us in some way if this is how he wants to get by in life. But I still don't trust him. That's why we have the jail. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't mind the jail. I'm, like he is, 
kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. It's just always a bit of a mixture of feeling. Like he's kind of cute, but he's also like right when you have that spot, then suddenly he does. He says something creepy, and then you're like, yeah. oh, never mind. Yeah. But it, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe Jack is right. He's been lying, but I if he is, I hope that Shepa will uncover his lies tomorrow. Cause I don't, I don't want to be lied to. But well, I also like, I don't know, you know. The way I see it, this guy is like their punching bag. They use him, they, yeah. you know, abuse him and everything. They're probably gonna come looking for him. But why? Can't they just find another punching bag? I don't know. Sometimes it's like a power dynamic kind of thing. Some people are just like that. Mm. Or the new punching bag wants to find him, so the new punching bag wouldn't be the punching bag anymore. Pretty much. But then, but either way, this is a way to bring, you know, it's a way to pity him because we're taking him away from being a punching bag. But at the same time, I don't want him around the camp. So this is like a purgatory kind of thing for him. I, I guess. I just, I keep. Thinking if I were in his shoes, it doesn't feel nice to be alive. No, it wouldn't. Because if we just send him back out there, they're going to keep abusing him. Yeah. So I kind of feel sorry for him. But at the same time, this is what we have to do to keep everyone else safe. Mm. I'm sure some people would agree that, you know, just putting him out of his misery would be the best option. But, but I don't think I have the heart like he to do that. Wants. Yeah, it's not like he wants to be put out of his misery. If he wants to, then okay. I mean, I understand that. But, I mean, Jack said he has a wife and kids and everything. He might I be didn't... a little delusional. We know now. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's his way of coping with all the abuse. Oh, that's isn't that more pitiful? Exactly. Oh, it's so hard. Making a decision is very hard. Okay, but look at me. Okay, look okay. me in the eyes. Even uh-huh. though I'm like a foot taller than you. Uh, no, worry. I can, I can look up. Yeah. It, okay. If he makes any attempt to hurt anybody in this camp, I will not hesitate to put him down. Okay. I'm cool with that. Okay. Got it? Yeah. But I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I know some people want to kill him. Some people want to throw him out in the woods. Let the wolves have him. Or he can go back to that camp with his, you know, bandit buddies and be abused. I feel like this is the best option for him. Yeah. I I, I agree. I mean, so far he hasn't given me any reason not to pity him or... Send him to the walls, packing or whatever. I just want everyone else to also give him the benefits of the doubt. I mean, it's kind of sad that people judge you by the cover, you know? If they, everyone did, then, you know, we, pro- we probably won't be friends. Aurora would have... Aurora would be where she is, I suppose. Um. But, yeah, I just, I just feel bad. But if he turns out to be a bad person anyway, then I don't mind. But if he's not a bad person, then I don't want to have to be a part of more bullying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think people deserve to be abused. But I also don't think that people who are perceived as creepy should be allowed to roam free. What? What? Yeah. what? what? So these people just can't help but be creepy. I mean, yeah, but but, some, but sometimes your your gut is usually right. So I, I guess. So I, for now, he stays in the jail. With Aurora's agreed to watch over him. If he tries to hurt anybody, take him out. He's gone. Okay. Hey, uh, did you think what I did earlier did today was creepy? The what? The whole the whole um group date thing was that creepy think, 
I think you're a little overzealous and, you know, you're a... Uh, overzealous. Um, just, is, just, just a little bit. You're, you're excited about the prospect of, you oh. know, bringing forth your goddess's uh, love and all that. Yeah, it could, uh, you're very smart, Aster. I don't know what the word, what that meant until now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't really find a lot of people, and when we do, it's like, I mean, you know. I guess uh, you would think being in dangerous situations would foster more bond. But I guess we're just fostering the friendly kind, which is yeah. not bad. But that's not really what I'm here for. I mean, I'm here for it, but not. But like, I'm not super here for it. Like, it's good, but it's not exciting. That's all. I mean, but I'm not forcing anyone. I guess I just hope everyone else doesn't feel too creeped out by it. Don't wanna, don't wanna be seen as a creep again. I guess. No, I think you're a little too cute to be a creep. Okay. Oh. Thank you. You're very smart, Astrid. You're smarter I than me. I somehow doubt least. that. Well, you're smarter than me, at least. That <laughs> my book was pretty smart. Well, can go to sleep now. So you and guys... I'll, uh, do a bit of a prayer on on Astrid, aka guidance, as I leave her. <laughs> All right. Do what she was gonna do. All right. So everybody. You turn into your own separate beds. Some of you meditate, some of you sleep, some of you, you want to sleep up under the sky, you know. But regardless, everybody is able to lie down and kind of ruminate on what had happened on, what do you call, on the situation that you're being presented with right now. But keep watch, keep watch. The story goes on. Uh, you wake up the next morning feeling a bit refreshed and leveled up, of course. And uh, this time you do not smell the uh, whatever Mia usually cooks up. This time you immediately smell some kind of like some kind of potato being roasted or something outside. So that that's that's most good at least. All of you gather outside, had some oh, baked, baked potatoes that uh, Henry prepared for you guys this time around. And now you have the rest of the day for yourselves. What do you guys want to do now? Hey, does anyone, is anyone preparing or having the tank magic? I guess someone should. Wasn't Henry going to do it? No, I mean, just, oh, just in general. Okay. Yeah. Um... No, like, are you going to prepare it? Do you have it? You have it, right? I, I think it's a it. druid spell. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I can prepare it. Oh, okay, cool. What don't I need? Um, speak with plants, probably, I guess. Yeah. Oh, we use that. What was it? It's going to come back again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sleet storm. I'll remove that. All right. And we'll officially have the tech magic. All right. Next. All right, so as you guys are eating breakfast, Henry kind of handing out the potatoes, uh, he turns out to, I think, Bree just now. Like, hey, Bree, I've checked the uh, the guy. doesn't seem to have any curse on him or anything like that. He's just a natural-born creep, I guess. Aw. I mean, that's kind of sad for him. I was hoping that it's a... It's a curse or anything but okay because i prepared the spell for nothing <laughs> i don't really see i don't really see any what do you call any any magical effect on him um seems like a normal guy okay sorry that's fine just hope he's not actually a creep just looks like one you know so what you guys gonna do now? Interrogate him? Oh. Well, I'm gonna watch, so uh, go ahead. Do you guys oh, have any questions prepared? Yeah, before we start, what do we want to ask? What do we want to know? I look over at Jacques. 
I agree, I don't like having the bandits there, but I think 30 plus is too many for us to take on in a direct assault. Or in a defense cap defensive capability as well. I mean, we could ask him like the um, hierarchy or something that we can do like one of those calculated attacks, pick one out one by one or the most important ones. I, I think first things in order would be his true intentions. Is he going to ask, uh, try to go back to his own group or is he fine with staying with us? Maybe then we can suss out personal uh, afflictions or something like that. I don't know. Uh, let's also ask him, under the zone of truth, what things the bandit group argues over. Like, do they argue oh. about division of loot? What things divide them internally so we can try to exploit that and take on only a few at a time? That is, that yeah. Is good. That sounds good. Last time you said his charisma was six, right? <laughs> DM. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is a charisma saving through his spell, so. <laughs> Anyone have hex? Just just pulling it out there. Anyone have hex? No, oh, hex hex does not help but save it. But you if you have charisma. It only, it only help, helps with the ability check. Uh wait, no, really? I don't see him. Right. Uh, I could unsettling words, Timmy, but also, yeah, we should know if he resists the spell and yeah. how he in it. Okay, I would rather save the unsettling words for combat, but I can use it if we think we need it. All right. Let me just double check I, I can, something. I can, tr I can try to persuade him to just, you know, fail it. I could I could do mind sliver, and they but have that, to would it it. that would hurt it. Look, I, I can I, I can just wish. ask him a... to. Okay. I can just ask him to. It's all right. All right. Yeah, honestly, uh, that would be best. Okay, <laughs> so when I ask, give you guys a uh, insight. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Who, who um, has proficiency in it? Me. <laughs> but, you uh, know. Also me. failed before. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Ah, there you go. Thanks. So. Okay, let's let's go. Are you guys ready? All right. Oh. So... Uh, well, we, have, oh. we have kind of a lot of time. Do we want anything else? Ahead of time. Questions? I mean, we have ten minutes, so right. right I feel like we should discuss in front of him what uh, questions we want to push out next. As limited uh, amount as possible. Yes, we should appear prepared. Uh, well, I, well, I wanted to know him. is I wanted to know what they're doing in the wolf's territory. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wolves territory. We might uh, try to go make allies of the wolves, honestly. I also suggest we ask uh, him to tell us about the bandit leader. I would rather Jeffrey skin Dad. myself. Now, being I hate friends, wolves. Is this a personal vendetta or a opinionated? Both. They're nothing but mangy mutts. Good. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. Cool. It's good to, good to know. A bunch of big, smelly dogs out in the woods? Ah. Uh, Vi looks puzzled and then focuses on Astrid and the tail and the ears. Mm. Ah, of course. It will handle that if it comes to it. The one did help us, remember, against the cultists on the far side of the river at the moment. 
did they? Did the wolves? Not a whole oh, group. Yes, we saved, remember, they we were. Saved one. They, yeah, they were trying yeah. to sacrifice the wolf, and I took the muzzle off, and it actually helped us for several turns. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it comes oh, full circle we now. Inn. Yeah, we have an inn. <laughs> this could be good. We could. Uh, of course, we'll. We're. This would be. Uh, we'll try to put push make them not close to you, Ast uh, Astrid. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. It could be beneficial to the party. But anyway, if those... yeah. yeah. Anyway, those are the things I can think of immediately for Timmy. If anyone else wants to add to the list and uh, answers he gives may suggest further questions. Well, maybe whatever he knows about this whole place. They've been here for far longer than we have. Mm -hmm. uh, and information about the general area. Yeah, I want Jack, to while uh, Bree is asking the questions, can you lurk just out of sight and read his thoughts and sure, see what he's not that. saying? Sure, I can do that. I'll just... Where is he being held at? Uh, still in the shed. Like yeah, still in the shed, yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's just draw over here real quick. There you go. Okay. It's really close to the common area, though. Probably want to put him, like, here. <laughs> it, again, uh, imagination That's space. That's Timmy! Oh, my That's God! Uh, no, yeah. I didn't know! Oh, God! <laughs> Ooh, yeah, now you have a face to the guy. What do you feel? <laughs> DM scratched this up real quick, didn't he? No, this is this like, colored and everything. This, it's not... this guy does not look like a grown man, though. That looks like... Okay, I don't want to say it. He he looks exactly what I envisioned him to be, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Like, like uh, kind, oh, of a, no. kind of cute, but kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, God. No, stay... Stay in character. Okay. All right. Interrogating this man. Um, so who goes? What? What do you do? First step. At the moment when you guys are uh, approaching him, you can see him kind of like uh, on at the edge of his gate, both ha uh, the hands kind of holding the cage, uh, kind of sniffing the air a little bit. You can see a little bit of saliva kind of dripping down the sack. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Oh, I wish the kind lady would come over here. You don't think he hears you guys coming? What do you guys do? Uh, I will stroll over and sit down close enough to hear everything that's said easily and join in if I think necessary, but I'm going to let Bree uh, take the lead on talking and spellcasting. Oh, I mean, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk over to him. I would have told my friends that it's a 15-foot radius and anyone that enters the area for the first time will have to make a charisma saving throw. All right, who are you including in the area, including uh, other than Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> well... I mean, I can't, I mean, how, how do I, <sighs> Is the radio I'm, jo the I'm, I'm joking, like, if you wanna, if you, if people are around you, you can purposefully include them in the circle and then ask them questions as well. Oh. Just say, uh, that's all I'm saying. That's all. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> this is more of an open prompt. Yes, me. exactly. So I'm to you. <laughs> yeah, this big. Centered on Timmy. All right. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sit 30 feet away, about 30, 30 feet away. away. Wow. <laughs> you know, outside, uh, just outside. just at the edge of your detect dots, right? I'm assuming. Yep. Yep. All right. Just at the edge. So I'm just gonna before I before I cast it. I haven't cast it yet. I'm gonna okay. 
I'm gonna go up and like greet him for the day. If we have food, I'll give him like I don't know a potato or a nourishment chip. I think he oh. has some. I'm not sure. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, you're you're the kind lady from yesterday, right? Yeah, I'm I'm Bree. Yeah, uh, pleasure too. It kind of bows forward and then he hits his head on the cage. Ow! ow. <laughs> what is pathetic, man? Sorry. It's, it's nice to hear your voice again. Can't really see you, cause you know the sack. Oh, the, oh, right. Yeah, the sack. Um, okay, Timmy. This is your last chance to stay here. Okay, so you gotta be as truthful as possible. If you okay, do want to stay with us and not like, if you if if you if you don't, if you sorry, if you resist this spell. And this, this spell is just gonna make you tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. That's scary. No, it won't hurt anything. You just feel kind of warm. But it's like the nice warmth. Like a, like a fireplace warmth kind yeah. of thing. Okay, I, I, I've, read, I've read this in the book somewhere. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, okay. should so be. just don't resist. And your chance probably will uh, be better. I'll do my best. I'll can roll I... regardless, uh, just to hide I... whether or not he's... Uh, yeah, sure. I'll roll regardless, just uh, so that uh, you guys don't know whether or not he's actually resisting or not. But I... Uh, but you or... can tell me, because I'm doing it. Do you know if... No, you don't yes. know. You won't know if they're resisting or not, but you know if they succeeded I... or failed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. I know. I know if they succeed or fail. Yes. Yeah. But you don't know if they're resisting or not. So I'm a rule regardless. Yeah, you're gonna use what, Jack? Oh, yeah, I see yeah, it now. Yeah. All right, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We want him to fail the roll, right? Ah, uh, yes. You want him to fail the roll. Should we subtract the one d six? Using oh your your whoa. Do you do you decide before or after the result? I haven't uh, told you the result yet. It doesn't no, say. Uh when it's about to make a attack. So it's about so before you know the result then. Oh uh, okay, about to. So you decide. Now do if you, you want should? to. Oh well, that, that that's what I'm asking. Do you think we should? Yeah, sure. Yeah, might, might as well, might as well. If if you feel yeah. like we should, yeah. Uh, that is odd. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a d6 anyway. Look, uh, is it the d6 of uh, even or odd? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you rolled at the start. Oh, wait, no, sorry, sorry, got it. All right, there okay, goes. so that is a two minus two. All right, you minus two to breeze spell, yeah? Two, yeah, to the saving throw of him. All right, so, uh, you feel the spell take hold on him. Oh, oh, this feels nice. It feels I like it's like I'm floating on some cloud, rolling yeah. in the fields with you guys. Okay, so uh, we have a few questions for you, Timmy. Okay, I can answer questions. I'm pretty good. Um. Anyone can real ask, really. So it doesn't have to be me. But um, so we need we want to know more about this whole uh, lords of Paragon. Is that's what you call they call themselves? Uh yeah yeah. Okay, so what are their intentions here, really? To what do you mean? Is it to live? survive okay who's like is there like a supreme leader or something oh yeah that's Renal. who Renal. Renal. reno gland Renal. i heard i heard i heard this okay but Renal. <laughs> <laughs> i was like reno <laughs> Uh, who's that? Like, what does he do? He's like some big wig, peach type, the looks of it. <gasps> Who does he worship? Does he? 
No. He's like a religious guy or something? I think so. He wears like the whole tall hat and everything. Oh, I hate those types. They always like super, looks like they're super religious, but do they, are they actually? I mean, he's they the actually... kindest to me, so like, you know, oh. not that bad, I guess. Really? Yeah. What does he do to you? I mean, he does not step on me. Oh, does he ever talk to you? Like, nicely? Sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, but like, you guys are like the nicest people I've ever met compared to those guys, so, you know. Aw. What about, what about your intentions, Timmy? Uh-huh. Why are you here? Well, not only really here by choice, you know. I uh, kind well, of yeah. fell into the hole, and then I got lost, and then here I am. But surrounded by beautiful women, I'd say maybe sleep with one of you if I get a chance. Oh, I sh Ooh, this spell is really powerful. Oh, uh, Terry. Uh, oh, Terry. I, I did really mean to say that. It's the spell. I'm really sorry. I'm just going to keep it in my head moving forward. Oh, no. Jock at the silence. <laughs> <laughs> I... Oh, well, uh, do, do I do I know what I what I did to him works or? Uh, yes, you do know. You it does not. Oh, it does not work. It does not work. It does not work. I don't know what you did. Uh, if well, it... I don't know about that. Wait a minute. Right. I'll call out from where I'm sitting on the edge. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Could, could we, could we oh, wow. inside if this was a deception, like trying to like double a double bluff? Sorry, sorry, I'm I'm blue. Sorry, can you repeat that? Sorry, would could I inside to check if this was a double bluff? This is a personal. Um, sure. Like they they try. This is a very jarring piece of information. We're trying to uh, like we're, he's trying to fake it. Oh, sure. Like, inside check. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. This is just a, it's a precaution. He didn't resist the ring. You are too shell shocked at what the hell he just said <laughs> just now. It's just <laughs> out of nowhere, unforgivable. Just yeah. So you're not really sure. Uh, can can we like move on to the next topic? I I, I uh, yeah 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 um, yeah. Whew, this Colonel fellow that you say is in charge, does he have any pictures, symbols, pieces of jewelry that he wears sewn on his clothes, on his hat? Oh, uh, oh. he wears black. It's not like the usual white and gold, oh. you know, it's like black and white. So that's that. Uh, can, you, can you draw the symbol if you remember? Oh, no, I'm very bad at drawing. No, I've never I'm... seen any symbol. So, so sorry, I can't help you with that. But like, he usually wears black instead of like white and gold. Like, is he wears black and white. Does he mention any uh, god or whatnot? Uh, gonna thanks for a bit. Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, the way they acted, I guess it must be some kind of like, uh, I don't know, god of being a boss or something, yeah? I guess that it. Well, maybe you can tell us, like, the hierarchy thing in the bandit, like uh, oh, if oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so, 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 like, we, do we have like the the the? We, we're all lords. I'm I'm apparently called a lord as well. I'm like more what like really? A prince, but no, no, I'm more like a lord. Like everybody's in the group. They call lords. I think it's like an ego thing. I think so. But 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 then the top one is for now. Under the him, we call him the elite lords, and then there's us. Oh, not really that much of a hierarchy. And Andrus yesterday was the an elite lord? Oh yeah, definitely. How many elite lords are there? I think that's like six. Ah, uh, and now each one has like four underneath or something? I think so, yeah. Okay. What were you guys doing in the wolf's territory yesterday? Oh, we had to do the most dangerous job. Yes, you know, they don't like Anders, they don't like me, so they don't know what go! Yeah, we were just trying to uh, find new places that we haven't checked into. This forest are kind of dangerous, so we haven't really gone into it yet. Uh, why don't they like Anders? 
Oh, he's a little bit of a big mouth kind of guy. Uh, I mean, they, they, they are all like buddy buddy up front, but like behind the back, ooh, it's a lot of like. Whoosh. Ooh, there's a lot of gossip co going around, huh? Oh yeah, for sure. Well, what's a what's a what's a popular gossip? Popular gossip? Like Anders actually gay, you know? <gasps> no. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, it makes so much sense now. I don't know. I never never really. There's a lot of guys in there, but like not really. You know, it doesn't really do anything. So, I don't well, know. he has to keep a facade, you know. True. Well, what else? What's that? What other gossip? Ah, uh, let's see. Vernal's not actually a cleric. That's another one. But uh, don't say oh. it in front of him. He'll kill you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, and it kind of goes on. Just talk about minor gossips basically just okay. oh this guy doesn't flush this guy doesn't wipe his butt oh, this guy well, doesn't shower I don't, okay, hold on. Stuff, I don't need yeah. to know that. that that's i mean i don't need to know about their personal hygiene it was oh okay okay, okay. Then, like... then he starts going on about food habits one guy's a cannibal yeah, like, the other guy's a werewolf you know? oh oh uh, i don't know i don't think oh. i don't think there's anything like that up, up there so uh Oh, really? A group of people living together and there's no... There was mostly guys in there. There are a couple of girls. I mean, who's I mean, the yeah, guys? That's true. Never really seen any. I mean, it's possible. They're all like, you know, really like the, the man type of man, you know? Not, not... Oh, no. Yeah. Maybe they're all secretly into each other and they just need, you know, some... Like, people... Anyway. Um. Really, this is getting... <laughs> Well, you could come back to topic if you want to. Jeez. Uh, All right. Timmy. Um, are you actually an heir to the royalty? Yeah. Except like I'm Prince of Listoria. Estoria. Listoria. Listoria. Let's write it down. And you really have a wife and kids? Yeah. I mean, they weren't exactly willing, but, you know, yeah. What do you mean they weren't exactly willing? Because, you know, it's kind of like an arranged marriage kind of thing, and she really hates me, but, like, you know, we need to build a relationship, and this happens, so. But you still have kids together. Yeah, we did. I mean, obviously. We're like, we're like nobles and stuff, we have to have kids. Not like, by, they're not like my blood or anything, but we still have kids, yeah. They're not? I mean, I assume so. We've never exactly. Oh no! <sighs> and they Again. just pass pass the kids off as yours, or? I mean, you know, they're still kids. I still love them, you know. I guess. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty I noble place a hand of you. On Bree's shoulder. <laughs> Ugh. What else do you want to know? Um. Does your does your party or at least your group, if you don't want to call them bandits, um, bicker about mostly the way you collect items? What's the biggest uh thing that gets them riled up real quickly? I mean, food. Yes, we rarely get good food over here. It's always chips, 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 chips. We want some real food sometimes, you know. But usually, elite lords have it. We get it sometimes. It was a successful loot, but most of the time, it's chips, chips, chips. It's a lot of those nourishment chips here. Do the others hmm. feel like you? Like the ones that are not under elite lord? Yeah, I guess some of them do feel like that. But I mean, who else you wanna you wanna go out there and live alone? I don't think so. You're like the well, one of the you're like maybe like the six people that we met that like surviving alone out there so yeah Wait, do, who have you met I mean, there are other groups i mean that guy yeah yeah and then pointing to rubedo yeah. and then i recall that like a couple of people they joined us eventually you know because you know stick stick together group in numbers and all that How many how, of you, if you, up, oh, go ahead. Um, uh, how did how? I mean, do you make people join you, or do you just kill them if they don't join you, type of thing? Hey, I told you, we don't really kill people. We we put them in jails. There's like a dungeon down there. Like oh. oh. What else is yeah, down there? Like a. Some stuff. 
Uh, we got some food down there. We got we got some weapons down there. Some of the magic item for now found down there as well. The shrines down there. But that's about it, really. The a magic items. Yeah, you found some magic yeah. items, right? When traveling over here. Yeah, I mean, like no one uses them. Uh, well, you know, sometimes I, it's a one-time use, so we keep it. Oh. Yeah. Who what is the shrine to? Wait, yeah, yeah. what is the shrine? <laughs> well, I, don't think, I don't think he would know, so I, I changed that question to, um, uh, what, what, what is on the shrine, do you think? Uh, there's a person on there. Yeah, how does the person look like? Like, uh, what is the Robe. I've never really seen the shrine up close. It's like, Oh. Far in Vernal's place. I'm sorry, couldn't help. I mean, let me let me see if I. Oh. How many prisoners are you currently keeping in the dungeon? Ooh, I think like six. I don't remember the numbers exactly. They get fed. Oh yeah. I mean, not as frequently, but yeah. I told you, we never kill people. We just, you know, yeah, but... keep them in until they decide to join us. Uh, then. Um, Timmy. Yeah. Oh god, I'm blanking. Uh... <laughs> it sounded like you have a serious question. I, I had a serious question, but then... Oh, it's escaping. It appeared, yeah. Um... What what other defenses are at the camp? Like, is there any booby traps? Oh, we now can control the the undead like creature things. <gasps> um, oh, I I was about to say, it, like natural, like how much of the terrain is to your, uh, Timmy. Yeah. Uh. In regards to the wolves you were uh being chased by last time, uh -huh. why was the group uh chasing them, or in their quote-unquote territory. Don't you? We're just looking for new stuff. Nothing hmm. specific. Oh, yeah, really? Well, I, I just asked this. No, um, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I can't remember. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I want to see, like, if they, if she, he'll slip up in saying something... Different. About, I see. Gotcha, no, gotcha. About an air, yeah, about an area that has been explored. And I see something like that as well. Yeah. So. Anything else? How long does this spell last? Ten minutes, my god. Ten minutes can be a long time. Mm -hmm. How many um, of you can cast uh our magic adapt? Oh couple actually, quite a bit. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You think that's a rare breed these days. I mean, they're not like, you know, like you, well, actually, he never seen you guys use powerful spells. Yeah, what's, no. What's the yeah, spell I that... just, just stabbed them. Uh, I just did a titty twister. Yeah, I, I, was, I mean, it's like you guys, you know, you can cast like first level, right? Most of them are like that. Okay. Yes. First level. Hmm. <laughs> What's the if worst we let thing? You go, if we let you go, Timmy, what would you do? Oh, I can't stay here. And he scratches his head. Guess I'll go back. What? Oh, well, it is kind of dangerous if you stay there. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not too bad. We get food. Um, I I get to do stuff. Uh, I don't get you know, killed by some crystal humanoid thing. So that's nice. Crystal but, but you get bullied a lot. Like, I mean, would it, would you, would you I mean, it's not too bad. Would you succumb under pressure and tell them about us? Oh, most probably. Oh, what do you mean? No, we are definitely, okay. Oh. Um, Oh, I should not have said that. You're gonna, you're yeah. definitely gonna kill me now. Oh, I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. What is that crystal uh, object you said that might kill you? What are you? What were you afraid? Uh, the the crystal people. Uh, behind the other side of the wall. In um, them, right? Coxon, That's it. Yeah, I think you've been gone, War, but 
Yeah, uh, when we met Ruby, there's a spirit person with crystals growing on them. Oh, was a right, yeah. In the basement. And Henry also oh, described this... to us Lucas Del Mar, who uh, yeah. describes himself as the Lord of uh, Cogsoot and had crystals growing on him. Was this the one that was shouting at you guys? Yes, the singing Dreaming. one. Yes. Singing. Ah, okay. It was singing. Uh, that, uh, I, I, I'm reading some subtext. I did not get the context. Ah, that's fair. I that's fair. The context now. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, good. Um, I mean, what's the worst thing you've done in your life, Timmy? Worst thing in the thing I've done in my life? Oh, my God. Yeah. Ooh. Like, to yourself? Or in society's eye type of thing? I don't know. Um, I'm a thanks for a long time. <laughs> in society's eye. Like morally, you know? Morality is a it's a scale I uh, guess like I'm a bit of a womanizer you know but like not very good womanizer <laughs> as you can clearly see you like women but women don't like you yes exactly but that's not the worst thing I mean it's pretty bad you know like being unfaithful and all that well yeah but it's not like do you force yourself on women what no consent is important what are you talking about Sorry, I didn't mean to shout at you. I'm, I'm really sorry. No, that's, oh, that's good. That's good that you feel so strongly about consent. We like that. Okay. Not enough to sleep with you, though. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Oh. Well, Timmy, are you under a curse? I need to know. I don't think so. I mean, I wish, I wish I wish I am under a curse, but I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, hmm. And at this uh, point, the spell would end. Aww. Well, he, he's pretty harmless, you guys. He just, was... just looked like a creep. Maybe things like one, but he never acts on it. I wanted to ask what he would do while, in, while we let him roam in the camp. Oh, I was gonna ask that. <laughs> I mean, we do have some time before it ends. It's a like moment of silence. <laughs> Never. Yeah. You could ask and we could just inside it. Sure. This is just the final prompt. Well, he doesn't know that the spell ended. I think I will stand up, dust off the seat of my britches. All right, Timmy, thank you for a productive conversation. Come on, everyone. We should go out to the garden to talk about this. Okay, okay, okay. Do I still have to have the sack on my head? Yeah, Timmy. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. It's a little bit hard to eat potato through the sack. Well... Oh, God! He sits down in the corner. I mean, we didn't tie his hands up, did we? Uh, yeah, I assumed you did. Oh. At least, like, restrain the two hands least, together. Can we at least put the hands in front so he can yes, hold the yes, potato yes, in? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I mean, to be fair, he can just open his sack if he wants to, right? He can, yes. But he didn't, see? He's honest to a fault. Because of a spell. No, it's been like that the whole time he's here. Right? Uh, I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't as direct. Uh, especially that one question, but yeah. Well, we still need to figure out what we're going to do with him. Like, is he even safe to keep around here, or...? I mean, it seems like the most he's done is... in his head, really. 
Yeah, but I don't want the... I don't want him hitting on me. Fair. That, that is a bit yucky. But I mean, I think if you just ask him to stop, he'll stop. Right? Mm. Uh, That's a big stretch. As long as someone as large and intimidating as, as Astrid is glaring at him, for sure he'll stop. I mean, he's kind of the size of my foot. I could stomp a mud hole in him right quick. So. Mm-hmm. Well, how about a proposal that will make no one particularly happy, but will perhaps be acceptable all around? We take him outside the walls, outside the mist gate, point him to the river for fishing, tell him to stay out of everyone's way. That will at least slow him down considerably getting back to Vernal and the bandits with his information, gives him a chance to make his own way and keeps him out of the camp and away from the kids and all the ladies. But in that, I mean, he said he would go back to, well, what you want to call it? He said he would he go would, back. He would, wall. yeah, go back to the party. He, he would try, him. but if we take him outside the mist wall, can he get through it himself? Henry and Mia couldn't. But that is leaving him to his own devices. I feel like that's a much worse faith than just killing him. Straight up. I mean, things seemed fairly peaceful on the outside of the wall. Like, the Perceptor and the Burning Pits. We were able to walk right up to it before they went hostile on us. The thing that fishes in the river is pretty slow if he's... If he has sound self-preservation instincts, which he's alive so far, so I presume yes, he'll have a chance. Honestly, I agree with you, Delilah. Like I said, this is not going to make anyone happy, but I thought this might be acceptable to everyone. I think he should be free to make his own choices. And if he goes back to the bandit camp, then that's on him. That's what he wants. He wants to be abused like that. Let him. I would like to make it difficult for him, though, because I think trying to rescue those six prisoners has moved up my priority list somewhat. Same. Not... So if we take him outside the walls, outside the mist gate, I am crossing my fingers it will take him some time to find his way back in. So we're not stopping him from doing that or from trying to live his own life, but we'll slow him down. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. Also, if he can walk through the mist gate, then we need to grab him and uh, let Delilah poke him until he tells us why. Because that's very interesting. Oh, speaking of poking things, uh, Delilah, you've been distracted, but I needed to ask you, and I will take out the plus one rapier we got a while ago. I've been using this, and it's a pretty nice weapon, but you're a little bit taller and you could potentially put it to better use. Do you want it? And so over the table, Delilah, do you want a plus one rapier? Uh, actually, I think that would be beneficial. Yeah, I'd, I'd gladly take it off your hands. Uh, sure. Absolutely. So I think I'll just uh, delete this from my character sheet and you can yeah, add so up. Send, send it. No, no, yeah, send it to you... Delilah. You yeah, can, can right-click it, everything. and then there's a site sent to player. Oh, so there is. Yeah. Uh, it is not cooperate. Oh, there it is. Too many menus here. There you go. Make sure to accept. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're right. Uh, there. Just give me a sec. Yeah. You should see uh, the prompt to accept. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I did. I think it's just taking time to update. Yeah, I'll. Okay. Okay, thank. Well, thank you, Vi. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, you're very it's some needing to get used to. But yeah. Yeah, you're very welcome. Uh, I honestly don't like being up in people's faces poking them. I'd rather hide behind something and be far away. It's safer. Yeah, the up close stuff is not jazz. Jazz. Forget what I just said. <laughs> Still, what are we going to do with okay. it? Uh, well, no one has really responded to my proposal. We can either keep him here in the shed and keep our fingers crossed he doesn't get out. We can let him go and that's a ticking time bomb that Vernal gets information about where we are. We can stick him outside the walls and hope that takes longer. We can kill him outright. If anyone has other or solutions now or forever, hold your peace. Or, since he doesn't know anything yet, we could send him back to the camp. Ask him to be our spy, quote unquote. I can, uh, I can talk I to him. Gonna, I think he's going to tell them about us, where we are. Oh, absolutely. Especially because... Well, he doesn't Bernal know is... where we are. We... They will have... They will have some triangulation from where their other group was ambushed. This area is not that big. I, I'm sure he would actually agree to being a spy. As soon as Vernal starts torturing him, he'll do whatever Vernal tells him to to make the pain stop. Aww, oh, yeah. He's not a great spy. Oh. Man, that's pretty spineless. Well, if you, I can do something to him if you want to keep, if you want to keep him here. Like? What would that involve? No, I can tell him just to stay in that cage and don't do anything. I mean, I agree with Delilah that that's, that's not a great option. Uh... I'm not really happy keeping him here, even with the sack on his head and tied up, but no one else is happy killing him. I'm not happy letting him go. I'm not hearing anything about outside the walls versus inside the walls. Okay, we need to make a decision. We're spending way too much goddamn time on this. Oh, uh, should we put it to a vote? Let's, let's yes. list that our options and then vote. Let, let the people in the camp vote too. Democracy and whatnot. Okay. So what are our options are? Let's let's take it to three. Three Defeating options. Camp, kill him, send him to the other side of the mist wall. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Wait, how do I... You're putting it in Discord? No. I wanna do this. Wait. I just okay, so text oh, one is kill him oh yeah that okay hold on. <sighs> oh right okay let me help you with that uh... and crit isn't here to vote right now actually oh actually just got, just got uh... back never mind <laughs> What did I miss? <laughs> uh, arguing uh, him, about... Uh, yeah, kill a, arguing about Timmy. What to do? So we're like, we can't make a decision. Let's put it up to a vote. So what's oh. the second one? Are you going to write the second then, one? No, th this is it. Right? Kill him, what? leave him in camp. Let him go. That's the other one. What's the... Let him go inside the wall. So what does that mean? Uh, you know, the mist wall... Yeah, all the way back at the gate, the mist wall that only Astrid can walk through outside is the town of Riverbend, where we met the first Perceptor. Inside is where we are now. Uh, Serenia, Cogsoot, everything. Maybe you want to unpause the game. Oh, right. There you go. Okay. Um... Uh, I don't know. I don't really want... Uh... While I don't like him, I don't really want him to uh, die by any means. I mean, he's not that bad. I'd say we just keep him here. Kill him. 
simple. We have a token for him. Was that? I was like, <laughs> a random really, person. You there. drew him, but you don't have a token. <laughs> no, for I did not. Who the hell is that? Who the fuck are you? Well, I want. I, well, he it, doesn't get the phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was looking at the wrong part of the screen. No! No! Come on, Delilah. Come on, Aurora. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Delilah, you're the decision maker. Is it? I mean... I mean, either confirm killing you him... Make it tie. Or a or tie. Can, yeah. Yeah. You can make it a tie or you can... Oh, no! Yeah. No, guys. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm seeing the vote. I'm just gonna. I, I re re is re can't help but be sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would just well, I look. I guess it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a theme. It's a camp vote. I just look at him. You guys want to kill him? Well, I'm willing like to let. All right. Him I'm willing to send him past the mist wall, but I'm not willing to let him go in here or keep him in camp. Do we we can know we can we can do the we can do the European voting thing. So this option is... this option is gone now. This is the lowest oh. vote. Where do you want to go? Oh, now Aster has to choose. Well, Aster has to choose. Yeah. Either there way, I don't want him in here. And I don't want to kill him. There. No. But, uh, that feels kinda... <laughs> I definitely yes. want to kill him. But the highest vote is kill him. So. The highest vote is still kill him. If we keep the whole or the whole system this time. Oh. So yeah. Well, what do you guys want to do? You have your votes. I won't engage in regicide. That's... I don't want to. Who's Reggie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I that will. His name? So everyone who doesn't wish to be involved, uh, you can walk away, go to the other side of the camp, and stand up. Delilah, Doc, Ruby, let's go. Oh, can I at least say goodbye? I'm gonna oh, hold Ruby on the shoulder. Maybe. Ruby, maybe you should stay in the camp. Although, Ruby, if you have any potions that would put him to sleep, that might be a mercy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm I'm gonna just walk away. I'm not gonna engage. And I'm just gonna I'm so sorry to me. No way, I don't know I I I don't know if I'm gonna say anything to him. I'm just gonna leave. Alright. Don't wanna see it. Mm-hmm. DM, do you want us to roleplay this, or can we say we walk up to Timmy in the shed with a sack on his head and make it quick? Uh, maybe outside of the camp, not here. I don't want it to, you know, I don't want the kids to see what we're doing. Here. All right, so you guys bring Timmy words. outside. Uh, during the whole time, he's actually kind of like, uh, so I can't stay at the camp after all. Uh, I guess I, I, I guess I will, I'll try to survive in the woods. You go bring him somewhere. Wait, can I, can I, can I, like, um, can I send him a message when I'm sure he's outside with my friends? Uh huh. I'll just say, I'm so sorry, Timmy. I wish we could, I wish I could have saved you. I will say, given how people are not, uh, Prolonging this, the spell failed. No, I'm sorry, Timmy. 
Aurora's just gonna sit at the shrine and pray for the whole day. Aurora, I mean, Brie, I'm no, sorry. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Brie will. Uh, but Brie Aurora will you, join uh, Brie. Uh, uh, Brie won't say anything to Aurora. They, they are friends, you know. She's there for her. Even in silence. Yeah. No, she she won't say anything to anyone. Maybe Astrid, but and Mia, but nothing to no one. All right. After returning back to base camp, you still have the rest of the day ahead of you. Um, you also have some items that you've taken from your previous battles, kind of scattered on the on the mat that you guys used to hang out. What do you guys want to do now? I would like to go uh, back identify to those items, them. right? Uh, have sorry. Have identified all those items? No, you have not. Uh, what Didn't about... even know what we got. You no, didn't yeah. tell us what yeah, we exactly. got. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vice, are you were saying something, sir? Oh, I was going to have a proposal for what I would like to do next but i will also identify anything people have for me fair well, from the hole you're able to find uh, a robe actually <laughs> and a suspicious looking shield because it's painted with kind of like it has the way it's crafted it looks like it's a mimic basically but upon picking it Ooh. up throwing it around and everything it does not look like a mimic and also some nourishment chips. So this is what you guys got. A robe. Shield. And seven nourishment chips. Food. Uh, these are what you found in the hole. But on the battle with Anders, you guys find a tube filled with scrolls. A hand Ooh. crossbow. And also a potion of healing. Inside the scroll tube, you'll find three different scrolls. So, yeah. Mm. Which one do you want to identify first? Uh, let's do the robe. And I'm doing all this ritually, so it will take longer, but I'll keep my That's fair. You have, you have time. You're not rushing anywhere. So, from the robe... Uh, wait, is it here or is it here? Oh, this is NPC. This way. Um, so first, the robe is this. Ooh. Ooh. So it is a simple... Uh, basically blue robe with gold trimmings. There is a symbol of what looks to be a giant crest, a shield with divided into four different sections uh, of red, blue, yellow, and green uh, the symbol and a couple of like mythical animals basically surrounding the, uh, the, the crest itself. But yeah. That so it is just give you access to magic missile, right? Yeah, basically you just can't cast magic missile. But... Excellent. Uh, I'll go ahead and look at the shield. All right. The shield itself, um, it does, again, it looks like a mimic. And when you spend some time focusing on it, uh, identifying it, you kind of swear you see the shield move. But when you test it, knock on it, and it's not really attacking you back, and you try to focus and finish your ritual, and you find this. Devour shield. What the hell? Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh no, this is, huh, not, yeah, not for me. 
I don't know. Maybe you know you like giving blood away, right? <laughs> yeah, not to not to foreign objects. I love giving blood to myself. I might need a legend lore spell for this, but can I just do an investigation on this shield? Does is this might this have been the shield from that poor adventurer we found in the house of skulls and bones who got cursed and died of it? Uh, go ahead, roll investigation. Are we talking about the McKnife house or? Yeah, the knife house where the we spent house. a whole session getting the <laughs> Yes. Okay, that's coming back to me because I was afraid that there was two. 27. Um, you, you're not really sure. There's nothing that really connects uh, the shield itself to the, um, the person at the back of the inn. More likely, it belonged to someone that was eaten inside the hole. And additional information you can get from this, like the creation of this magic item is not stable, per se. But by the looking of it, there's no traditional glyphs or anything like that. You only notice there are like spattering of blood and scratch marks on the shield itself. Um, which kind of led credence to the idea that the shield may have been inadvertently created during the death of its owner. All right. I will not mention either my suspicion or results to anyone. I will just breathe a little sigh of relief and feel okay about giving Delilah that rapier because that also <laughs> came from that poor guy. All right, okay. All right. Uh, any, anything else we wanted to look at? You have some uh, scrolls, uh, crossbow, and also sh potion, which you can quickly know that it's a potion of healing. All right, well, just going down the list, let's have a look at that crossbow. All right, crossbow is easy enough. That's a plus one crossbow for hand crossbow, Ooh. if anybody wants it. Ooh, a hand crossbow? Ooh. Hand crossbow, yes. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, I'm the only one who has straws. a free bonus action. <laughs> Draw straws. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good gun, though, hand crossbow. <laughs> Outside, it would have cost 150 gold plus to make this. And the other three scrolls, I think, who has the highest arcana? Uh, I have plus five. Plus five, all right. Uh, and actually, Vi also, I think, has enough arcana uh, to know the scrolls are uh, for ensnaring strike, whole potion, and also alarm. Those are Old very person. specific. Hey, they they seem, they seem like this. Okay, this might be an odd coincidence, but those seem like the type of spells that are bounding the man that was in the heart, the house that was encased. An alarm to detective. He broke out. Uh, something called person and snaring strike. Okay, never mind. This might be just a weird tangent. Yeah. yeah. So those are the items that you found so far. You distribute it amongst yourself. If you don't want it at the moment, you can keep it in the party inventory, which uh, says that it is going to be left behind at, at the base. I've also written down the description of each of the plant parts. You can open the party inventory to give it a read if you see. <gasps> I think is it? if I recall, you uh, rolled high enough. Uh, you rolled high enough. Uh, nature to identify this if I recall correctly. So I've put it in the description. Right but, there. but the inventory is the secret thing, right? Yes, that is right. Um, this is key. Yeah. There's stuff inside. What the hell is this shit? The robe from the skinner, the skin people. Oh, the skin people. Okay, okay. That's right. We call him the skinner, right? All right. Uh, I will maybe take the hold person scroll unless someone else wants it. I was, I was going to take the alarm and its name strike if possible. Absolutely. Especially the ensnaring, ensnaring strike is better for someone who also does melee. Yeah. 
I, I feel like if anything, I could. Was it me and? No, yeah, I, I was probably the sneakiest. I could like plant alarm, uh, to try to like in circumstance areas. Where is he? Is yeah. anyone? Is everyone okay with me taking alarm and it's next strike? Go ahead. It was me. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, everyone else is spellcasters. I feel like I should have some utility. DM, uh, I'll take the. Uh, do I just take him out from the shop, or I don't see the? Which one? Sorry. Party inventory. I will take alarm and ensnaring strike. Yeah, just I don't see. The... I can add. I can add it to to you. Don't worry. Ah, oh, okay. And... Uh, who's taking the hand cross? Do we have bolts for the hand crossbow, DM, or is it just the crossbow? Just hand crossbow. Okay. So we still need ammo. So you took ensnaring strike and what just now? Alarm. Alarm. And who's taking push of feeling? Uh Delilah or Astrid should probably take it. Astrid. I feel like Astrid could make it. Uh, yeah, I said it's our resident thing, right? <laughs> what am I taking? Uh, we're offering you a healing potion since you are our tank. You know what? I'll take it. And uh, does anyone want this robe that you can cast magic missile? Can you wear this on top of armor or do you have to replace your armor with it? No, no, you can wear it under, under your armor, it's fine. It's clothing, not armor. Uh, Jack, do you want it? More magic missile? I could I bring up an interesting or a uh, um, ask? Yeah. Yes. Currently, have no crossbow bolts. The magic missile could be a good ranged uh, secondary option. For you the do you have spell slots? Do I require spell slots? I thought it's inept encased with the yeah you can cast a spell as if it's your in your own spell list that's it oh i don't have spell slots you can also make your oh. your own crossbow bolts that's true i can i can what with my crossbow what you can Dive. make your own crossbow bolts. does it, no, does it do come in purple and green how much um, check to see if you have woodworking tools or whatever they're called. Don't have uh, 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 carpentry tools. I do not. What do you have? I have cooking. Cook <laughs> uh, I... I was going to say, Fontaine also uses a crossbow. I think yeah. between the two of you, you'd have the tools to make more. Just yeah, I'd say, I'd say, like, because you guys did take a long, bit long break, so I, both of you would kind of like set your, you spend some time to make armor for yourself. So we'll say you can have twenty uh, crossbow bolt. But, uh, yeah, oh, before you have to uh, spend. split between us, so ten, ten or twenty. No, no, twenty each, twenty each. Just full up on your crossbow bolt bag, bolt mm -hmm. case. That's yeah, it. More prep than I want. Excellent. All right. But yeah, the, the magic missile rope would be good for anyone with spell slots, spell slots, especially if we can upcast it. Because now we have third level spells and third level magic missile is pretty sweet. <laughs> Bree, but... Bree would be in this back most of the time, right? In a safety, in a safe distance. Yes. You want them, Bree? Bree's what? Kind of... Is she in, in the back? Yeah, she has a like, shiny armor. new robe. Is that worn by the the guy? No. Uh no no no. This is the one that you found in the hole with the in the hole in the ground. Which hole in the ground? The hole in the ground you that know, keeps pulling the... you in. Oh, the maw. The maw. That's it. Sound like bit. <laughs> the nuts are like pit. Yeah, sorry, the nuts are like pit. Copyright free, free. trademark free, sort copyright of like pit. Yeah. <laughs> copyright free, completely original uh, <laughs> hole that eats stuff. Yes. 
Mm. And I need to attune to it? Yes. Yeah, I do. It just adds magic missile to my spell list, is it? Yes, that is right. Yep. Nah. I can give it to Henry or something. I was gonna say, well, if no one else wants it, I would take it. That would give me another option. But if anyone yeah. else wants yeah. it, it, it's good for anyone with spell slots. I mean, get it. Go it's... ahead. Go I ahead have a lot of yeah. stuff, so I don't really need it, so... Okay. Yeah. Alright. So I will take the student robes then, please. And, and I also have the this imperfect... creepy little shield. Yeah, I also have the imperfect stone of intellect attuned. I didn't see how to add that to my sheet. Oh, I'll, I'll add it for you. Thank you. Uh, imperfect stone of intellect. Oh, that's weird. It's not. Where added. do we find it from? That one's from the magic shop. I think you weren't there for the session. Yeah, we oh, get everything okay. for one gold. <laughs> Good deal. Imperfect stone of intellect. There you go. And you took which one? Which Cross item again? Just now? The uh, robe. The right? narrow... Yeah, yeah, the narrow the robe, robe. Yeah. Both require attunement, if I recall correctly. Yeah, did yes, that so, so that should put me to two attunements. Yeah. Oh, DM, this doesn't... The scrolls don't tell me what they do. I mean, it's the alarm it's spell gonna... and also the... Uh, just, just control yeah, effort. I, I was just reading if whole person has any special... Yeah, I'll just look at it. Yeah. Alright. Anything else, guys? How about the shield? Who's getting a shield? <laughs> uh, if, no? if no one is going to use it, I would I would like to investigate it. If anything, I wouldn't be equipping it. If you, if you want, just grab it. All yours. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants it. Take it. I, because I, if I take the plus one rapier, I would be empty-handed. More to say on the other hand, I would appreciate <laughs> extra protection. Sure. Honestly, it could be a Go fun ahead, experience. Yeah. I would like to see what would happen. You know, F it. Yeah. <laughs> Delilah. Yeah. 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 Go yeah. ahead, War. Take the cursed item as usual. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thank my god. <laughs> there you go. You take the Devour <laughs> Shield and <laughs> and again, like when you hold it, it feels like a solid piece of wood, like a shield. Um but at certain times, when you spend quite a long time with it, it kind of shifts a little bit like its flesh, and then reverts back to its solid form once more. I would be morbidly intrigued. Alright. And then I guess the nourishment ship, the ships, we just leave it in the camp, right? Yeah, give it to the... Uh, yeah, I guess stockpile or something. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it in the party camp. We have seven of them. There you go. All right. It is done. So, what now, guys? What do you do? What do you do? Uh, you can. Additionally, you said that you wanted either to check the wizard tower, quote unquote, or um, we'll deal with the bandits, quote unquote. Uh, yes, I would also war. Like to go... Sorry, war says something just now. Uh, yeah, this is could be like in the meantime, free time. But if I did uh, have the rapier, I would transfer whatever sort of mechanisms I have in. Yeah, my... fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. for my effects. Yeah. Alright. Alright, uh, I think Aina had something to say. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, for if we are gonna, I mean, Bree's not gonna do anything else for the rest of the day other than praying. Alright, gotcha. Alright, and then... And uh, I guess towards the end of the day, she would, like, um, uh, uh not to, like, she 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 would she would just spend the whole day praying and she would be repeating with some 
different with with some like it's like holding a bit of a eulogy but to herself because like no one else really cared as much about Timmy mm -hmm. and she also doesn't know why she cares so much about Timmy but um basically she's just gonna say uh, uh, uh prayers to guide Timmy on his next journey I wrote it down I don't know if I should say it um uh her prayers would be something like I think Aurora would hear if she spends the whole day next to her, or just even a little bit. She you you would hear her say something that goes along the lines of um, Shepa, please grant your blessings and guidance to poor Timmy on his journey to reincarnation. His only crime was being ugly and looking like a creep. I wish he could live a better life. Please guide him in his next life and let him be reborn into someone that has all the things he, do he did not have in this life. And that he is surrounded by people who genuinely loves him and not just pity him. Let him achieve true happiness in his next journey, especially through genuine bonds. And I'm so sorry we had to take that decision. I hope he went away very quickly and didn't feel any sort of negative emotions. And basically, she's just gonna repeat that in loop. Not in loop. Like it, there would be there would be some variation, but basically, mm -hmm. it's always just like asking Shepa to just be gentle on Timmy's soul and just like uh, let him have all his luck in his next life. Yeah. All right. I don't know what Shepa's version of Amen is, but... I, I think she would just say Amen, because she also doesn't <laughs> know what Shepa's version of Amen is. Maybe I've been thinking be, about it. Ah, Amen. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the ship has sailed. Oh my god. No! Oh, no, oh no my god. god. <laughs> let, him sh let his ship sail to a dock that would accept him wholeheartedly. <laughs> If if karma exists in this world, uh, he would have tenfold of what he had now. Don't yeah. worry. And then hope TV doesn't hate us so much. <laughs> Basically, those kind of like words she would say to herself, and she would just like I th I don't th I think she'll quote unquote fast the whole day. All right. Oh. Uh, well, while trying to use the rest of the day, Vi would try to collect everyone, not Aurora and Bree, and actually see if we can tag in Ruby. And with Ruby's help, see if we can sneak back into the mansion Ruby was hiding out in and take a look at that safe Ruby mentioned. Wait, you're going to the safe just by yourselves? You're leaving Bree and Aurora? Ah, uh, well, they're busy. It won't, it have... won't be a quick journey, is what I'm, is what I'm saying. Okay, so we yeah. can't Atlas in pretty close, sneak through Cogsoot and have a look. Fair enough. Yeah. DM is saying he's planning an encounter. Do not split. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because right now, because right now, your your essentially your your safe area right now is Serenia for the most part, and uh, Riverbend. Uh, Coxet is still considered kind of like hostile area, so if I go there, sh shit might happen. Basically, fair enough. Yeah. Did sorry, uh, dear. Yes. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Did we did we ask Timmy where the camp was? The Lords of Paragon. Uh, you did not. But Anders, oh. the guy, uh, yeah. Anders did say that you know they're from. Uh, Anders did not say that. I think we know though. Yeah. Because this is the group that Fontaine warned us about, the ones that had undead chained to the wall between Serenia and Cogsoot as a first line of defense. That is right. So they are unfortunately kind of a lot closer to us since we moved base camp here to the hot springs. I feel like 
infinite. Our next course of action, we have to closely deal with the bandits. Is something is a priority at least. Just right. I think actually, as part of dealing with the bandits, that's why I want to go back to the mansion. If we can get that hunter out of stasis and unhurt, uncursed, that's a possible ally. Because uh, 32, how many of us are there? 30 to 7 is still bad odds. Very bad odds. We're counting Harry and even if we're willing to use a... What was the big guy's name? Uh, Roland? The, just the, the, yeah, Roland and also the... Yeah, uh, that's it's ten to thir one to three odds is not good. Yeah. So that's why I was saying we need some way to to use gamer terms. We need to aggro small groups without aggroing everybody, but we also need to be prepared if it goes south to uh, cut and run. Should maybe ask Ruby if he can start brewing up some potions of explosions. I do have, a, we have the alarm spell now as well. We can set up very elaborate, not very, but uh, some elaborate trap. That would be good. Also a perimeter. How far out can you put the alarm spell from base? Uh, uh, let me see. The cast it was twenty foot square, if I recall correctly. Twenty foot square. How? F it five feet away from me? What is the ring? It's just 30 foot away from you. It lasts till an hour? Lasts for eight hours. Eight hours. Eight hours. Right. Range 30 feet. Um, so I like the idea, we, but I don't know that this is big enough to really give us an alarm on the camp. I was def I was suggesting to use it offensively, not as a defense. Okay, stay or, on. Or I'm listening. Thinking more of a trap per se. I I know alarm is an audible. Like, is only the... Let me just double read this because I might be confusing it. It can be sound. audible or just in your head. In my head, yes. I was thinking... Any quiet or very... Uh, very large hills or dark area. We have this alarm spell place. Any unwanted, unwanted uh, individuals pass by. We can ambush them uh, with with advantage, with a lot of advantage to our on our offense. Is just uh, one of the ways I'm thinking we could use alarm uh, the spell. But again, yeah, any ideas is still we don't need mm -hmm. to use this, the scroll right now. It's just end of thought. Right. So I I was a little spaced out. Did they tell you at all what they think the Beast of Paragon looks like? I could potentially try to do a major image and see if we can pull some of them out, or if they send out another hunting party, see if we can have them chase that into a setup ambush. It, initially, I, f I recall if I thought the unicorn that we encountered before we went into this adventure of ours who could have been the cre the creature of Paragon. Wasn't it a deer? A stag, yes. Oh, it was a stag. I don't know why you said you didn't work. Yeah, the stag. The white stag. I don't think it's a good idea to be hunting those. Oh, we would not. I was asking if the bandits know what they're hunting, what kind of beast image might lure them out. I feel like with your bravitas, uh, just the white stag with 
any aura, glowing aura could attract a quite few. They would, I think, they could fool them easily, even if they didn't know the descriptors of this creature as well. Definitely worth a try. I was, I was thinking something, uh, you know, more like an odd hybrid, but we could go with more standard. And Vod pulls out his notebook and is making notes to himself. <laughs> and could, it's lizard tail could. crossed out, goat tail crossed out, lion tail. <laughs> could uh, could I uh, help in any sort of way to try the? Um, no, actually, mm, I don't know. I wouldn't have any experience trying to do this. Oh, and the bandits are also close down to the part where Paragon falls away and is just over nothing. Uh, uh, when... The bandit camp is right over a river, not at the edge. Not exactly at the edge, but what kind of a walk away? 10 minute walk, 20 minute walk? Let me check. Mm, from the edge, it is 2,000 feet. Okay, so not quite half a mile. But the spell I was thinking of is too high for us right now anyway, so we'll scratch that. I was wondering if we could do a hallucinatory tr terrain uh -huh. effect and have them all run out over nothing. Oh, okay, and at least cool. catch some of them. Oh, that's some big brain in the high level. I, it, it's only going to work for like the first wave, but again, 30 to 10-ish is bad odds. So we have to figure out how we can whittle them down a few at a time. Well, if we really must fight them, uh, we, we know where we can lure them, where there will be a lot of huge fights going on. One the battle of them field? is, you know... The, the what do you call that? Uh, the mall area. There's a huge battle going on over there. Mm hmm. So we can go lure them over there, and maybe some of them will be forced to fight the undead. I feel. Hmm. Yeah. Could. But I feel like if they've spent as little much time as we have in this area. They'd be very cautioned and wary of the, the battlefield. That battlefield could work. Good option. Right. I mean, board. for all of these, we have to give them bait that they think is worth the risk. Hence, you know, if they think they see the beast of Paragon, whatever that is. It sounded like they were pretty unfocused, so I don't know, even if we can get some of the wolves on our side, if they would chase after the wolves. Honestly, maybe I should make an illusion of a feast. If any of them are smart, they'll think trap, but we'll see how many of them are not smart, and we just run toward an illusion of uh, food. We could ask the wolves if they've seen the... Uh, white stag as well. That's a really good idea. We should do that. Yeah, we should. But the wolves are kind of scary, though. And they're not that fond of us. Mutual. Probably fair. Yeah, I mean, we're both predators competing for limited prey. They have no reason to like us. Actually, um, by to give some sort of credence or at least give you more confidence in this sort of uh, uh, creature of paragon illusion or plan that we might entail, uh, I do have some knowledge or at least inkling of the contract for the beast as well. Oh, really? Um, and Vi sits up and flips his notebook to a new page. Okay. 
I suddenly stand up slightly straight as well. Not stand up, I mean like uh, sit straight, uh, sit up straight as well. Uh, I'm more or less before heading on this journey to Paragon with you. I sort of more of uh, moonlight as a just a practitioner and a historian or sort of, uh, sort of sense. And I actually hunt creatures as a monster hunter. The blades, I feel, uh, I've displayed too much skill to deny this being a hobby. So, yes, uh, yes, I completely agree. You are very good at what you do. Yes, so in light of that, uh, this creature of Paragon was actually supposed to be something of a big gig, I believe is the cor a correct term to use the phrase. Uh, I want to make my big, name. A big job? Okay. Did I, did I come through? Did I say big gig? Yeah, a big yeah, job. Okay. Yeah, a big job. Um, yeah. A quest, basically. A quest. With that much renown, I could have made a name for myself, so I do believe. Uh, it, it is a cold case, sort of, being there is a lack of clear um, description of what the beast is or creature. But it is uh, quite tangible, uh, not tangible, quite valuable to procure at least an image or at least capture the beast per se. So if there, if the original group of the Lord's main intent was to capture the beast, it could be the, oh God, what is that whale from that old story that there's this I'm trying to oh, make... Captain Ahab and the White Whale? Yes, yes, yes. It, it could be Moby the... Dick. Yeah, it... Moby Rick. Yes. <laughs> Moby Rick. It could be a very much a Moby Rick situation. For uh, at least the initial group of the Lords. If what we're hearing the based on the stories are true, Timmy. So obviously you don't have any reliable data, but what kind of rumors and gossip did the people in this business talk about in relation to the beast of paragon what was the going theory that it might look like uh dm i had never actually rolled for rumors go ahead Should i have can history I check rumors. might have history check. some information on it uh yeah based on my book. Book. yeah sure yeah. you can go roll history check as well with advantage Uh, could mine be more in the sense of the rumors part, DM, and like this would? Oh, oh wait, is that? <laughs> oh, that is minus one. Yeah, twenty. Eh? Not twenty. All right. Uh, All right, Delilah. From the rumors that you've heard, um, you would hear that it is most probably a mythical creature. Of what type is uncertain, but people have speculated that it must be a variant of a dragon, given the vicinity towards Diffendrag. But that's what the most prevailing theory is, and the most obvious answer. You've also heard of other tales where it might be some kind of uh, elemental or even there are like some rumors where there was never a monster to begin with it was just a cover-up that a bandit used uh, a group of bandit used to kind of like scare people off and use paragon as their domain basically paragon falls as their domain amongst all this it's the mythical beast is the only one that really uh stuck up uh, to you that may be true. It could be any creature given that um, the proximity, uh, given that this is at the center of Swifel, different kinds of monsters can be here, no problem. There's no particular monsters. The only thing that you know it is it's hidden. It's very good at keeping itself hidden. For Astrid, 
uh, you're trying to go through your book, trying to find if there are any th any parts of the book that talk about monsters. A lot. It is a book of heroes and they slay monsters all the time. However, there are only a couple of stories where the monster and the hero work together. Where, you know, the monster survived by the end. Uh, looking through it, there is a mention of uh, a stag, but not a white stag in your story. It is a stag, a animal companion of an advent of a ranger, basically, that had uh, that kind of acted as the protector for nature when the government got overzealous and started to uh, horribly expand. Uh, he's the one that kind of founded an area specifically to preserve nature, the Great Forest, uh, within Paragon, basically. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, the, um, just as a quick summary. Yes. Prevailing theories as into what creature based on the location is a based on the proximity of a location it's a mythical a dragon. dragon yes the mythical dragon yeah the pre the most prevailing obvious theory is some mythical beast and the rest is conjecture from other people that is correct or, and a rumor about a thief or a thief's guild or some like a kid yeah 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 they, they, they use the the idea of a monster that there were there was never a monster to begin with I uh, I relay the information as uh, yeah uh, as described, and well, I guess um, in any case, if we wanted to go big, uh, the dragon theory we could go with the dragon theory, but uh, mythical beast still is the main word that got spread out mostly, and. I believe Timmy also described seeing the white stag prior to it, prior to us falling. No. No, Timmy never said about the white stag. R oh, no, no, sorry. Timmy said, "Oh, ah, I don't think he mentioned he said, the white stag." It's he Andrew. Oh, it's not. A, it's not stag, but it's a creature that's white. Anders, oh, no, yes. Was, Anders that it, mentioned. Anders it. Yeah. Timmy didn't say anything. Yeah, Anders, oh, Anders did was say. the magic. Guy. The, sh the shirtless yeah. guy, yes. The shirtless guy. Ah, yeah. No, you do admit if... it is shirtless. <laughs> if if stories have already passed down and Xander's was a uh, sort of high enough position to like be uh, bluntly using this as a cover up, I feel like it's he could have gotten it from someone. Well, they might believe it to be true. White stag or dragon. I believe the white stack could they'll pick uh it'll they'll be they'll believe the white stack more than a dragon. Because I feel like anyone would have spotted a dragon by now if they just walked even a second in Paragon. Vi looks slightly disappointed but nods and crosses off a crude sketch of something with wings. And a tail that ends in snake heads and a mouth breathing <laughs> fire. <sighs> the monster is getting more and more normal. All right. Well, as I said, I don't think we're completely ready to charge the bandits right now, but one of the things we might start setting up is get close to their base set up a sighting, and we'll hope it convinces them, see if they send out a party, trail the party out of sight of base, and see if we can pounce at least the rearmost, with luck, pounce the whole party, and uh, then they just vanish, and that will really convince the base camp that the magical beast is out there. But that's not a today problem, I don't think. with that plan 
not gonna execute right now um so what will you do as the day grows late um you can see some of the people although not much happened they are certainly tired uh given the weight of what just happened is there anything you guys want to do for today or are you just gonna start resting chill for now i'm um, gonna rest yeah uh Aurora? Oh, um i was gonna say maybe we should like secure the perimeter now that you know there's bandits outside and they're roaming possibly looking for us all right um so in that case as some of you find some place in camp to take a rest the rest of you may be spread out keeping an eye on the on the surrounding see if those bandits are heading your way uh i think that's a good place where we're gonna take a break as you guys um oh, decide how you're gonna execute your plan on taking down this uh bandit house basically so yeah i'm gonna stop here for now guys thank you very much for playing thank you very much for watching stop here for now and we'll see you guys tomorrow for arc of the 12. bye bye bye